Our next tool is Collaboration Center. This is what my client would see when accessing their Collab Center on a desktop. When sending your clients on automatic emails, we recommend Collaboration Center with auto notifications. Collab Center allows you to stay in touch with your buyers and sellers. It allows you and your clients to create custom searches meeting their needs, and now you can associate their listings within the Collab Center, giving them up to the minute seller activity. Your buyers can see their activity at the top, along with the listings you have recommended to them as agent picks. You'll need to set up notifications for those separately in their contact record. They can mark listings as favorites, possibles, or rejects, even setting up their own custom folders. From here, your clients can email out the listings, make comments to you, request a showing of you, and even share on Facebook. The whole time they're in the Collab Center, they're seeing you and your information other, unlike other places where clients can go to do searches. They see other agents' information who buy zip codes, and your clients would be seeing other brokerages as well. Why not set yourself apart by allowing your buyers to see only your information and get up to the minute results. Collab Center is the perfect way to do that. The nice thing is about Collab Center is it's built right into Paragon's Contact Manager and it uses the live MLS data, meaning it's real time. If an agent puts a listing into the MLS, your buyer will be notified immediately that it's hit the market. You'll see these clients are on my Collaboration Center. You'll want to customize your Collab Center under your Preferences icon. Go to the Collab Center Preferences Wizard and hit Start. Page 2, you can make any changes to your name here. Make sure your cell number is displaying. If not, let our membership department know and they'll add it for you. If you have a secondary phone number, like a direct line at the office, it can be selected here. But again, that comes from our membership records. On this page, you'll want to make sure your email address and web page are being displayed, if available. We also have social media networks down here. Google Plus is going away if it hasn't gone already. If you have a story video that you'd like to put in here, certainly add them here. Your agent image does need to be a square one. So if yours is uploaded and it's rectangular, there's a wonderful little crop tool right here for you. Your next page is page number three. It's the About Me page. It has a default message in here if you'd like. You may certainly customize it. You can always add your name at the bottom. Your next page, number five, is your links. You might have seen on my Collab Center site, I did have some extra links under the My page. I have the Blue Water Chamber of Commerce, Semco Energy, War Water Brewery. These are things in my local area even Blue Water hot, stop, hot Spots. Even a video for staging can help you sell. Your office information, you've got your primary phone number to display. If there is a secondary number and you want it displayed, you can check that box as well. Don't forget about license law. You'll need to display either the address or the telephone number, so make sure that the, one of those is contained in there. Next page is your notifications options. The first part is your agent notifications. Do I want to be notified when a new listing goes to my client? I do. How about if a price has changed? I do. I don't really care about status changes or if they've added the photo after the fact but I do want to be notified if there's an open house just in case my clients stumble into it. Now remember, these are all personal preferences. You might only have one or two or all of them selected. It's all about what you want to know what's going on with your clients. Do I want to be notified if they've selected favorites, possibles, or rejects? How about comments added? Yep, I do. 
How about if they've created their own client search? Yeah, I do. All right. And what does your clients generally want to get notified on? So I have three items right here. New listings, price changes, and comment. On your next page is search options. So your clients are enabled to create their own searches. You can disable all of them globally, but remember with so many sites out there that your clients could search on, why disable them here? We do have an agent preview, but I wouldn't set that as a global default. I would save that for those clients that need it. So I've set my clients, I left it at the default for new only. When my client is running a search, what type of class would they like to search in? Residential and condo is your default. I, vacant land, yeah, if they want to search on vacant land, that's perfectly fine by me. I do not work in commercial, industrial, or business opportunities, and I allow them to search on multifamilies. All right, searchable statuses. What is this? When my client is running a search in the Collaboration Center, what statuses are they going to see? I don't want their searches to be populated or overpopulated with sold listings, pending, expired, things like that. I only allow them to see active listings. All right, congratulations. Your collab center is set up. Now, to set up a client on your collaboration center, you can do it one of two different ways. In class, we teach you to go right through the search icon. You can also go right from here. As you add a new contact, as you'll see, Betty Beyer is my favorite client. I do have to enter in an email if I want my clients on automatic, automatic emails. And as I go through, I do want to mark this as primary. And now, save. When I save this way, all right, it does remind me, do I want to associate a property here? So if I had a listing for this client, I could associate their property here, but I don't have their listing. This is a buyer only. So now when I hit save, my next button will populate. And all I need to do is go through the next and walk me through it. Here's my contact information. We already added that. My buyer activity, and you'll see it going through the folders here on the left. So I can either load an existing saved search, one that I'd created before, or I can add a new saved search. So I need to make a new search for my client. This is residential. All right, type is residential. I happen to know, if you don't know what you need, the magnifying glass is right here to your right-hand side. My status is going to be active. I want anything above 200 to 300,000. And I want it to be in the St. Clair City. Or how about if we go in the township? I'm going to go St. Clair Township here as well. Maybe East China and the township. All right, so we've got a couple listings here. We can also search by map. Just depends on what you need. Structure style. Okay, doesn't matter. For her, she wants at least three bedrooms. She wants at least a second bath. Doesn't care how she gets it. So if I put two in the bath lab total, it will net me at least one and a half baths. All right, of course we want a basement. Of course we want a fireplace. Whew, just knocked out two listings there. Feature codes we talk about in our Paragon classes. We do want a two-car garage. Oh, that knocked off another one. And at least 1,300 square feet. Okay, so we have six at the moment. Let's go ahead and search. Alrighty, and you'll see my button comes up to save this search. 
save search for Betty Buyer. And I'll usually add in a date to let me know when I created my search. Alrighty, from here, here are your options to select your notifications. What we like is the Collab Center with Auto Notify. So once you select that, more options will populate down below. As I scroll down, I'll want to go to my first blue link. I do have an additional message body up here, but Collab Center has a great message in there that I don't even need to do that. Notification triggers. So if a price change, a new match, or a comment comes on the market, all comments are going to be from me, a new email will be triggered to my client. When does my client want to get notified? Well, my client's a hot buyer. She wants immediately. I do not need to BCC myself as I have my own agent notifications down here. Now, I don't really care to get notified immediately. Doesn't matter to me whether you do or don't. Me personally, I like mine coming in at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I set mine for recurring. I do need to set the time frame. Every day, every one day at 7 a.m. I did change this from midnight to 7 a.m. in my preferences wizard. It's a great tool. All right, I just hit OK. So now my notifications will come in at 7 a.m. I hit OK here. OK, not done yet. Setup is complete. Now I have to send the link to my client. It's going to go to Betty Buyer. Welcome to your Collab Center for Buyers. But wait, there's nothing here. Don't worry. Click Preview to see the message before sending. What does this look like? Oh, look at this. Very nice. There's me. Make sure to always spell your buyer's name correct. It does show up there. So remember, this is their welcome. So we found six matches. Where do they come from? There's undecided listings and those agent picks as well. In the flyer that we have in the MLS documents, you'll see right back here, MLS documents, there is a cheat sheet in there for the Collab Center. It does show you how to set up your agent picks. As we scroll down, what are the categories for? They can mark them as favorites, possibles, and rejects. And you can communicate in here as well. They can create custom folders and compare listings. They will need to create their very own password for their Collab Center site. And here's information about me and how to contact me. This is why it's very important to put your headshot and your company logo in here as well. And close. All I need to do is send. And you're going to want to make sure that you see the big green bar across the top to know that you have successfully set up your client on the Collaboration Center. And if you'd like to see your work, just hit close. Close out your tab called Betty Buyer. And then here you are. Here is Betty Buyer. You'll be able to see her site. So you'll see there's mine. There's those six. They're all undecided because she hasn't touched them as of yet. No faves, possibles, rejects. And I haven't picked any listings for myself. Remember, if you find a listing and put it in or save it to their agent picks, you've got to set up notifications on that as well. So you can put it in the Collab Center or decide to do just straightforward email links to your client. Either way. All right. I hope you enjoyed our Collaboration Center class.